let's let's let me <laughs> record something for YouTube. So, <clears throat> so this is Witch Hunt. It's a DLC for Dragon Age uh, Origins, and it's it was last DLC I recall, and it was it is kind of bridging things between Dragon Age 3 and Dragon Age 1. Dragon Age 2 was slightly odd. We are going to play it at some some point, but now we are playing the last last uh, DLC. Of course, there's some other DLCs as well, but they are not as important for the story. So this is couple on uh, couple hours fetch mission, but yeah, we are going after Morrigan. Okay, apparently it's crashing. If I try to up, uh, okay. Okay, this is this is what we are going to import. Flemeth once told me that temptation lies in the forbidden. <laughs> So we are we are having dog with us. Mapari hound. So we have So this is Flemeth's hut. We are trying to find Morrigan. Take this elf. Not another step. What are you doing here? Call off your hound. Fine, I'll start then. I am Ariane, of the Dalish people. My keeper sent me to find Asha Belinar, the woman of many years. So, that's Flemeth. Many have tried to kill Asha Belinar in the past. Do not claim victory until a few centuries have passed with no sight of her. <laughs> we thought she could help us save her daughter, Morrigan. The young witch has caused trouble for my clan. Has she earned your ire as well? Well, yes. Morrigan stole an ancient book my clan has guarded since the days of Arla Than. We were the only ones with such a piece of our history. Everything we once had, all legacy of our ancient magics, were stripped from us. First by the Tevinter Magisters, then by the Wretched Circle. Interesting. And Morrigan took what little was left. Sounds like her. For almost 2,000 years, the Dalish people have been wanderers, a shadow of what we once were. This book, as much of a mystery as it is to us, is one of the only clues on how to reclaim that past. My keeper, Solon, says it was a treatise on something the ancients called Alluvian. The word is as old as the book itself, and its meaning has been lost, save perhaps to Morrigan. One month ago, she visited our clan in the name of friendship. 
and took great interest in our history. She knew exactly what she was looking for. The Keeper allowed her to see the book. Two nights later, it was gone. Help me. We both want Morrigan, and we can aid each other. The Book of Alluvian was reclaimed for my clan by an elven mage who stole it from the Circle of Magi before defecting. He said other similar treasures remain in the library, but they would never allow a Dalish to view them. Perhaps you will meet a different reception. Masirinus, I look forward to working with you. Yeah, dog is in. Okay. Let's let's see. Did Morika steal something from them as well? Dogs are pretty bad badass in this game, by the way. It shall be done. Welcome to Ferelden's Circle of Magic. Hello. Please, keep your hound under control. Some of the apprentices are easily startled. And I see you have a Dalish elf with you. Is that a problem? What is that supposed to mean? Most Dalish are common thieves? As you say, <laughs> the Circle is glad to have you as a guest. As you can see, things are much changed from when you were last here. Gregor is in Denerin, attending to some important business. My name is Hadley. I lead the Templars in the Knight Commander's absence. If you're looking for a book, you can start in the Index section. As the Warden Commander, you and your guests are free to explore the first floor of the tower without an escort. Good day to you. I see why Keeper Solon did not want me to come here. It is all too tempting to overturn the tight order of their little world. <laughs> Well, well said. As you say. Very well. Have you heard the stories about the hero of Ferelden? Apparently, she once took on a lady pirate and three grease nugs between the sheets. <laughs> Never happened. I was not. Oh, all right, a little. You have to admit, it's tempting, right? All these mages. So complacent, thinking they're so important. You think I need to relax? Well, maybe. Look at all these books. I've never seen so many. Is that a pure bread mabari? I wish I had one. They should allow pets in the tower. Don't you remember the Dragonling disaster? There's bits of Ivan still burnt onto the ceiling on the third floor. I'm talking about common pets. Dogs, cats, rats, owls, that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what sort of mage has all this. It's a bit. You, Hound. You think you could sneak up on the mage over there? <laughs> How high do you think he'd throw those things if he turned around and saw you looming over him? Oh, lighten up. This place is like a tomb. A few surprises would be good for them. She sees like a trickster. Warden, your dog is lecturing me again. Probably good thing. Mysterious artifacts is here.
Library Simulator. I recognize the character on this page. I think it makes up part of the word Illuvian. Similar. The bindings are in the same style, but the script is different. This is a library, isn't it? Perhaps another book could help us translate. Nice to see the tower actually cleaned up. It was really shabby in, in a start of the Dragon Age. Squash me like a gnat, but I can't sit by while you mishandle innocent tomes. You're bending the book too much. It'll, it'll crack the spine and cause the pages to fall <laughs> out. Just thinking about it is making me dizzy. I've used it, but I don't know it by heart. Hmm. Browsing the chapter on the Olivians. No one's actually found one, you know. You know what Olivian is? It's old Elvish for seeing glass. Mirror. The Luvian isn't just any mirror. It's a special kind. When the Imperium sacked Arlathan, they took these mirrors and tried to unlock their power. But all they could use them for was communication over long distances. Ah, you have a friend with a special interest. Maybe she needs to talk to someone. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> My people crossed paths with another Dalish clan not too long ago. Two of their young hunters encountered a strange mirror in some ruins. One disappeared, the other became deathly ill. They never found the one, and the other died. They left Ferelden and traveled north to forget their sorrows. Shattered. Destroyed. <gasps> Why? It was corrupted by the Darkspawn, beyond hope of recovery. They did it to protect others. Even broken, it could be used to find the others. No, don't get ahead of yourself, Finn. You have to be sure. What? What do you know? This is so exciting. We have to get to the repository. Hadley has the key. You should just tell him. Hadley! Just the man I was looking for. Not looking very hard, were you? I'm always here. <laughs> Good one. So I, am. Um, I need to go into the repository. No. No? Why not? I'm not some drooling apprentice. It's because of me, isn't it? No. The Sentinels have been behaving erratically, so the repository is locked for everyone's safety. Oh. Well then. Uh, sorry for bothering you. Unfortunately, we are still not sure yet. The repository isn't crucial to the daily functioning of the Circle, so we've left it until we can spare more men. Very well. It's your next. But before you go, what's so important down there? The statue. It knows things about Tavinta, and I need to speak to it. All right. Be careful and keep the mess to a minimum. <laughs> Distress. The tears in the veil, most likely. 
The statue's useless until we mend the veil. Okay, so we need to take down those tears of the veil. Sentinels should stop trying to kill us now. Let's get back to the statue. Focus on the bird. Shoot. Ah, oh, there's nice, nice runes here. Which the mages didn't share with us last time we were here, so... I am the spirit of Eleni Zenovia, once consort and... Advisor to Archon Valerius, blah blah, fall of the house, yes, yes, we've been through that! Finn, greetings. Conversed before on the Imperium. It's hard to get answers out of it. Requires passing all the grandiose mumbo jumbo. We know where a broken Illuvian lies. Can it still be used to find the others? Scry, the broken glass, dagger shard, will be your key. The lights of Arlathan will illuminate the Scryer's path. The Archons possessed them. But they were misused, befouled, and lost, like so much the Imperium touched. Some were saved, carried by fugitives from the Elven city. Their sorrow awoke the stone, and her children sheltered them. They found a sanctuary in the deep halls of Kad Halash, now known as Kadash. There the lights of Arlathan lie, shielded from unworthy eyes. The lights of Arlathan. This statue would be a treasure unmatched for my people. Yet the mages keep it here like old junk. Deep halls of Catalash. Must mean a dwarven tide. Goodbye, Finn. We will not speak again. What? What's that supposed to mean? So first, first to the toy, and then, then to the elven ruins. Dark spawn than expected, but it feels like we're being watched. Wait, why did we stop? Is this Kadash Tyke? This is it, according to the maps. Right, so I've uh, been going through my old notes. Um, and I came across this footnote. Apparently, the elves would magically conceal relics of great significance, thus shielding them from unworthy eyes. And given what the Tevinters did, I'd say they count as unworthy. You don't say. I hate to say it, but yes. We wouldn't be able to see the lights of our Lathan if they were right under our noses. If the elves concealed the relics with magic, only the blood of their kin will reveal them. Ariane, we need your blood. Excuse me? Yeah, the dailies are m more close to the ancient elves than, than city elves. Um, blood doesn't power the spell, it's just a component. It's certainly a grey area, so let's just keep this between the three of us, shall we? Four of us. You share the same blood as the Alathan elves, so you're the only one this enchantment might recognize. Fine. Just because hearing that gets me all tingly. A few drops. I'll be gentle. Ah! <laughs> gentle. My spell will reveal vortices of magic. Standing in them should allow us to see the energy being drawn to the relics, which will lead us to them. Once we reach the influence of the lights of our Latin, Ariane's blood will unveil them. But we have to be close. Interesting. This carving over here is an old dwarven dialect. If you find more writing like this, I could probably translate it. It's like standing in a field of stars. And they're showing us the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I bet there's one here. So you've never been outdoors? Till now? I have been, but just don't care much for it. We had to do stretching exercises. I got sweaty. There was dirt <laughs> during my apprenticeship. They thought getting fresh air and exercise at least once a week would do us good. Fresh air and sunlight is good for you. You know what feels fresh air in the summer? Mosquitoes. Hungry for sweet, untested mage flesh. Well, when you put it that way... Luckily, it didn't last long. One day, an apprentice made a break for it. Jumped off the dock and started swimming for the shore. The Templars couldn't jump in after him. Not with the armor on. Finally found him a week later. He stopped having to go out after that. <laughs> that mage, Anders, never stopped trying to... <laughs> Anders. Haven't heard from him since his last attempt. Yeah. We have four lights of Arlathan. I hope that's enough. We still need the shard of the Illuvian, though. Let's head to the Elven Ruins when you're ready. Alright. Can we get out of here? If you hate the outside so much, why come with us? Couldn't pass up a chance to learn more about the ancient elves and the mirrors. Besides, the company is good. Thanks. I'm at the door. Horatio Aldebrandt, Esquire. Can't forget the Esquire. Father insisted. Did your parents hate you? <laughs> no. They adore me. Good question. In fact, I'm sure my name is a result of overwhelming love replacing good sense. Uh, okay, so here it is. Mostly broken. With the shard and the lights of our lath, and we should be able to scry for an unbroken mirror. This looks like a suitable place to do the ritual. We can start whenever you're ready. Get ready! As you say.
I bleeding? Oh, look, a ribbon in my robe. <laughs> yeah, that's really. What happened to Ariane? Give us your blood. Who cares if it hurts? It's my blood. That's different. <laughs> uh. I pinpointed another Alluvian. It's in the Dragonbone Wastes. The Tevintus probably moved it there to see if the ancient dragon bones could enhance the Alluvian's power. It might be hidden, or only appear to those who know its location. We examine the mirror. It might give clues to what Morrigan's doing. If she's looking for the Alluvians as well, she might even be there. Shall we? Dragon cultists. Apparently, first time they were mentioned. Is oh no! That uh, a Bartero? It can't be. They're only legends. It is said they were rock and tree, wind and rain, given form and breath by the elven gods to protect their people. I don't think it's going to protect anyone. To protect their people. Why does it look like it's going to eat you? Finally. That that was the boss fight. I think I think. So we are pretty close in in the, in the, in the end. At the end. There it is. The Eluvian. And it's glowing. We should I wonder where she is going. She likes the dog. She didn't like it before. No further, please. One more step and I leave. For good this time. I assume you know what this is. I have gone to great lengths to find and activate this portal. Give me reason and I use it. And you will not be able to follow. To another place. Beyond this world and beyond the Fade. But this portal can only be used once more. Achieving even this much was difficult. Can it only Truth once told, use? I waited this long because I was curious. Tell me, why did you come? Okay, so we are not really salty, salty with Morrigan, so we were so friends you once. So me all this way to... Offer help? Yes. I will never understand you. And you will never understand me. Yes. I suppose we did. I would not even know where to begin explaining. He is safe and beyond your reach. All you need to know is that the child is an innocent. He knows nothing of the destiny that lies before him. 
My plan is to leave and prepare the child for what is to come. Such preparation requires time and power. I must have both if I am to be successful. More than this, I dare not say. Even to you. Uh, I, I didn't. Uh, I don't comment. Comment because <laughs> this pretty much self explanatory uh, Well, she really didn't betray. Then allow me so. to provide you a warning. Tis Flemeth you should be aware of, not uh -huh. me. Hunt her if you hunt anyone. My mother has tricked her way past death and more. She is no more finished than I am. I thought I knew what Flemeth planned. I thought what she craved was immortality. But and yet I was wrong. So very wrong. She is no blood mage. No abomination. She is not even truly human. I, I think Dragon Age 3 DLC uh, e expanded on this. Come. Change is coming to the world. Many fear change and will fight it with every fiber of their being. But sometimes change is what they need most. Sometimes change is what sets them free. What I want is... is unimportant now. I cannot tarry longer. The time has come for me to go. I wish it were not so, but I do. There is one last thing I must tell you, if you will allow me. I left you a gift. The Dalish book is there, and something you will find with great interest. Goodbye, my friend. something else so this was basically the real end of the uh, Dragon Age Origins uh, basically after Awakening and yeah it, it was quite like I remembered it Awakening was clearly improved version of the Dragon Age Origins uh, the engine was same but everything seemed to be more fine-tuned let's say it that way and this this uh, Mor Morgan's stuff was like uh, yeah, Morgan's uh, small DLC kind of gave some ideas what what is to come, which these hopes were like pretty much dashed uh, after Dragon Age 2 became came came to reality because they couldn't actually uh, uh, make 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 all those ideas they had. Uh, I think, but then again, they returned in a Dragon Age 3 to this world, and it was great. I haven't played the DLC, but yeah, I I think it it was successful despite EA forcing them to use uh, Frostbite engine. And now Dragon Age 4, I don't know what's becoming of it. We'll we'll see when we see, but it is interesting high fantasy world, and. Slash the dark fantasy, high fantasy, dark fantasy, whatever you want the term be. But yeah, I, I like this a lot. Uh, but it was as much grind I remembered it, it, it to be. So that's that's that didn't change. 
but yeah, witty, witty comments, interesting characters, everything that we expect from Bioware. Thanks for watching. Please, if you watch this on YouTube, please, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, the algorithms will forget that more con content creators uh, exist. And this was a blast. Uh, last time I played this was something like. Uh, oh, uh, let's see. Like 13 years ago or something. Which is long time.